How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here with a tutorial on SFM. Yes, I'm doing these now, especially since I don't know what to upload while I'm at college, though I'm not at college right now, but this will probably be the format of some of my future videos. And uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make cropped shirts in SFM. Now, um, to a little bit of a uh, disclaimer here, I can't go through all the processes because of how I recorded. So some of the, the menus that I am... Um, seeing you guys won't be seeing however i will link in the description to a youtuber that i find very helpful for sfm stuff if you want to start making your own posters and um doing things like that so yeah so um i'm also gonna be making a poster here with the crop shirts and the first thing we gotta do is add our model so we're just gonna do that really quickly so so the first thing you may be wondering is well how do i get the models how do i get the maps how do i get the weapons and that's simple you just go into steam you go to the screen for sfm and you open the steam workshop and you search up splatoon that's very simple Another thing I do want to mention is that I'm going to be using the Splatoon 3 models as those ones are the more recent ones and although they are a little bit more difficult to work with, I do feel like that they yield better results as opposed to the Splatoon 2 models. But if you are starting out, I highly recommend you use the Splatoon 2 models because p doing things like posing and stuff like that is so much easier. Alright, so now we have our model set up. Of course, we're going to be using Rose for this poster because Rose is fun to pose and to uh, make posters with so uh, we're just going to be going along with that and as you can see they are they completely don't wear anything but what you want to do to change the eyes is you go to motion editor then select the um, the eyes and you can just move them up and down to make it look a little bit less cursed so you want to right click you want to and this is where you want to start adding models on like on that top left side and there there will be a mini that shows up it doesn't show up here because i'm using uh i'm not using something that records my entire screen i should really do that but um you just select what you want and then it will show up after i <laughs> pick out the hairstyle yes so what you want to do for the hairstyle and it's um this is like the only one for the most part that's somewhat different is you is after you've selected your hairstyle you just uh open up this spot over here and then you want to um open up the head and then open up the unknown on the hairstyle and you want to drag the bip head on top of the hair root over here you don't want to do that the other way around and then you just click on the bip head and use and you slide the zero so what happens is is that it looks a little bit sideways but that's okay because then you can, can just click this button over here and you're able to rotate it so that way it matches and lines up it takes a little bit but it kind of works out so then also you may realize that uh the hair is still over there but that's an easy fix as well you can easily get rid of that by right clicking on the model and then um going to um select body groups you guys can't see it of course but just follow along and then you can see hair and then you can just remove it and then you can just follow the uh, same process as i said before you zero in and then you rotate it you just got to make sure you line it up correctly and uh it takes a little bit and also for some hairstyles and some characters it may hover a little bit so you may need to um go to the uh to a different uh editor and uh change that as you guys will see me doing in a second because if you look really closely you can see that uh it is indeed hovering a little bit so you just go over to this button over here Yep, you just go over to um, this button over here, sort of brings up an X, Y, and Z access thing. And then you just, as you can see, it's a little bit above the head. And you can just drag it up and down as uh, whatever the preference may be required. So I do it that way, that looks good. So now, now that um, that's done, you probably want to give your character some clothes. So you can go right click, create animation set for new model. 
Again, you guys can't see it. And then you can uh, just select the clothing that you have uh, downloaded through the Steam Workshop. Um, I have, I still need to get a couple of things from mine and add a couple things. And what we're gonna go for is like some sort of t-shirt. Like we're making the same poster as the one in the thumbnail. In fact, I made that thumbnail specifically to be the thumbnail for this video. So um, we're just gonna look for any type of um, shirt that you want. I feel like it, it probably works better if you were to use a like some sort of like thinner t-shirt or something because uh some because there's some complications with um doing crop shirts when it comes to posing and um t-shirts kind of uh are the best way to do that all right so before we do the shirt though we are going to add some pants so for this one i thought that the uh sort of like leggings type pants would kind of work the best so we're just gonna go ahead and do those and for this this is the same for essentially all clothes it is a very simple process you literally just uh drag the model on to the pants and then you just after you do that you don't want to do it the other way or else it'll mess up and then you just zero it in and you do that for pants, shoes, shirts, hats, I do believe though, are the same as the uh, hair. You want to do it to the head. So, um, yeah, that, yeah, anything that's like headgear, you want to, um, connect it to the bip head of the model as, but for everything else, you just want to do it to the entire model itself. So now we're going to look for the shirt and then we'll uh, show off how to make a cropped shirt. All right, so now that we got the shirt, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna, just gonna drag the model over to the shirt and then just zero in on it. And there you go. A, f a relatively fully clothed octoling except for uh, the pants. It's, it, it's, it's, really, it's really easy. Once you start getting the hang of it, I mean, it's, it took me a while to figure out how all this worked and the difference between a bunch of other things. So, um, yeah, so now is the part that you've clicked on this video for, how to specifically crop the shirt. So what you want to do is you want to click on the T and then you want to go to unknown and then you go to the bip hip and you just move it up. Now that may not be exactly what you're looking for because, uh, it, it, it looks really weird so there's actually a better way to do it so um it, it works for some things it doesn't work for others like um i know the marionated top works really well by just moving it upwards but I, most of the things you don't want to do so what you actually want to do is right click and then you'll see a spot that says add scale to transformers and then what you want to do is make it zero you want to make that hip that uh bib hip zero and and as you can see it's a small it's a smaller uh cut so if you want to make it a larger cut then we just do the previous step you just uh go back to the you just want to go back to the hip and then you can move it up and there you go that's essentially how you make it cropped up in sfm so if uh, that's all you came for, then uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. But I also do want to specify a couple other things if you are about to click off. So number one, if you are trying to use them, sometimes the, uh, the shirt will sort of like clip out a bit and you have to adjust it like that. It's really, uh, it's really annoying sometimes, especially when you're trying to do the pose that I'm trying to do, because you have to like readjust it like every other time. But um, yeah, that's essentially how you do it. Again, you may have to adjust it depending on the poses you're trying to make. And if you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful for your own SFM endeavors, leaving a like down below and subscribe to the channel would be very much appreciated. And especially share this around because more people need to know about this because uh, I certainly needed a tutorial on this, so I uh, made it myself. But for those of you who want to see how I did the rest of this poster, it will essentially just be a time lapse with me narrating over it. So, uh, yeah. 
Okay, if you're still here after that, I actually thank you guys so much for sticking around and uh, you guys actually finally get to see me make a poster like in real time, except for it being uh, sped up and whatnot. So um, my first idea was to sort of take the idea of the crop top and try and make like a little like jacket, like a short sleeve jacket so that the long sleeves could go through it. But then that didn't work out, but um, that was fine. So then I went into probably my favorite part of the of um, SFM is actually the posing. Like it is very difficult, but for characters like Rose who aren't as uh, I'll say expressive as I would want her to be in a uh, Splatoon three, posing kind of gives me a way to sort of like bring her personality to light a little bit. And as I said in the uh, tutorial bit of this video, yeah, doing cropped shirts is extremely annoying because if you try to like. Um, bend their spines a little bit, they'll kind of just, uh, they'll kind of, like, um, look really awkward and stuff like that, so, the idea behind this is, like, it's since summer is winding down, it's, like, it's starting to get a little bit cooler, it's, but at the same time, still kind of hot out, so I kind of wanted to, uh, make it look that she's, like, you know, just, like, having a little bit of, a uh, fun outside, like, she, like, she's enjoying the weather preparing for a photo shoot, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, probably the hardest part of this pose was the hands, trying to get them right and trying to make it look like that she's not holding like her entire pair of glasses, just like one portion of it. And like the small details which really add up are like the camera angle, the way that the, uh, the way that where the head is and the hair. And now probably the hardest part of SFM entirely because my computer can't handle the maximum effect of it is the lighting. So, um, I kind of wanted to give it sort of like a warm, sunny feel, so I decided to, um, make the lights a little bit more yellowish-orange, like an actual sun, and angle it in the right way so that way it looks like it's, like, shining down on her and she's kind of, like, shielding her herself a little bit from the sun, so, uh, yeah. Needless to say, I'm pretty happy with how this poster turned out. I mean, um, I'll have the final results right now because, um... I don't have any other software right now that I know how to use to uh, edit these posters, but here's the final version of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.